You know Lala Anthony from hit shows on the small screen like Tower and Showtime's The Chai, but when she's not working in front of the camera, she's adapting her bestseller, The Love Playbook for TV, and working on a new thrilling film. Joining me now is Lala Anthony. Lala, how are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for that intro. I'm good. I'm in Chicago. Like you said, I'm filming The Shy right now. That's fantastic. And as you mentioned, I mean, you are filming The Shy right now. You are so busy. How do you have enough time for self-care? <laughs> you know, it's something I was never good at. And I think I'm still trying to get better at it and trying not to feel guilty when, you know, I do things for myself or take that time during the day to myself. But I've realized how important it is, especially in the pandemic, when we've all been forced to kind of slow down and reevaluate what's important in our lives and kind of reset our thinking. I just realized I was running myself too far in the ground and not really taking time for me. So I'm doing better at that because I realize, you know, when we take time for ourselves, we're better parents, we're better partners, we're better at our job, we're better friends, we're better, we're better everything. And speaking on the pandemic, there are so many people who are at home who have had to merge their work and home mm -hmm. lives. I mean, how do you really prioritize that me time when you're with so many variables throughout the day? Yeah, it could be, you know, taking five minutes out of your day and just drowning out all the noise, no phone, no email, no Zoom, no TV, and just, you know, being in your thoughts and thinking it could be praying, it could be meditating, it could be just taking a walk outside. It could be standing outside and just getting some fresh air. Never underestimate the power of that. I mean, there's so many things you can do and it doesn't have to be like this hour of the day. It could be little short moments that you just, you know, take for yourselves, kind of take a deep breath and then go back and, and finish with the challenges that the day has. I do meditate. I do take lots of baths and I do have a puppy. So that, that's been helping so you, me. But... You're, doing better than, you're doing better than most of us. I hope so. Please, you know, from, from your lips to God's ears, I hope so. <laughs> you are also working on uh, taking the love playbook and converting it from a book to a series on the small screen. What influenced you to do that? Well, you know, the love playbook, it went number one on the New York Times bestsellers list. So I knew it was a book that people really enjoyed. And I'm always getting asked about it. People just never get tired of talking about love and the do's and don'ts and what you should do in love and what you shouldn't do in love. And it's probably a question that's never, ever going to be fully answered. So to bring that to the TV screen and look at people in relationships or people who are single or coming out of relationships, people who are getting divorced and just how they're coping with the world in 2021, I think is going to be really, really interesting to follow. I also know that you're working on a film. So it's Juju. It's me and Issa Rae. And it is basically like Mean Girls meets the craft. And we're really dealing with high school kids and all the issues that high schoolers go through with self-esteem and wanting to fit in. And you have these group of kids in New Orleans who were not the cool kids. And then they turn to witchcraft to try to be the cool kids. And you see like all the craziness and chaos that happens by them doing this. And there's a lot of cool lessons that are learned, you know, during the film and definitely at the end of the film. Okay, this sounds totally up my alley because A, I'm a little nerdy as you can probably tell. And also <laughs> love the craft, love anything with um, mystery and, and magic and all the above. How did that come about? That's such an interesting concept. I'm so excited for it. Yeah, so this writer that I know came to me and said, you know, I have this idea, but I don't know what to do with it. And I basically locked her and I in a room. And I was like, we're going to write this. We're going to flesh this out. And then after we had it in a good place, I had, I think it was, yeah, dinner with Issa. And I was like, look, we should do this. And she loved it right away. was like, I'm looking for something like this. Let's do it. And that's how the partnership came about. And it's been great. That's fantastic. And what other projects are you working on? I, I know that you're also working on another film with 50 Cent as well. Yes. Yeah, so 50 and I have a lot of projects that we're working on together, producing. We're very close friends from, you know, being on power for so many years together and, you know, even before that. So he's a great partner, you know, in the producing space and just continuing to look for stories and content that mean something to me that I think is important for the world to see, especially dealing with like self-esteem, women empowerment, and things like that. You are a mom. Um, how's mom life been? And I guess, how are you navigating that with your career? Yeah, mom life is crazy. I have a teenager. So, you know, I'm still some days wrapping my mind around the fact that I have a teenager, but he's doing really well getting ready for 
high school. Um, yeah, it keeps me, you know, really, really busy, but it's my most rewarding job for sure. That's fantastic. And what do you hope, I guess, with all of your self-care tips, as well as everything you're doing right now, it just seems so overwhelming, but you, you got it together. Um, what do you hope that people take away, I guess, from just insight from you, as well as people who are aspirational and looking at to you um, as someone that can inspire them throughout their career? Well, I, I want to go back a little bit just to, you know, being on the go and running around all the time. You know, I, I figured out ways to kind of plan my days better when it comes to being healthier and doing what I need to do and, and feeling good about my days. So, you know, I keep my Kellong Special K, which you see here, they're not just here for any reason, my Special K keto-friendly snack bars, because I'm such a snacker. And I realize that I love chocolate. They have two new flavors. They have peanut butter fudge, chocolate almond fudge, which is great for me because I'm obsessed with chocolate, but then I feel good about eating it and not guilty. So that's part of what I was going to say with just maintaining, you know, a certain lifestyle and not feeling guilty about things, whether that's preparing your meals, whether that's keeping your snack, snack bars with you, whether that's writing in a journal, these are all things that we need to do to keep ourselves on track. So my advice would be, you know, just find a plan that works for you to keep you of sane mind and keep you, you know, of sound body, because this time is really crazy for all of us. I absolutely agree. And I am going to have to grab some of those keto bars right there because they look so nice and delicious and I'm on the go all the time so that's perfection <laughs> yeah especially if I'm in my trailer or just running around this has been a definite lifesaver uh for me that's fantastic well thank you so much Lala for speaking with the nocturnal I really appreciate all of your sound advice and I'm excited for you you have so many things coming up next especially with Juju I'm, I mean I'm I'm huge for that <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm so excited that you're excited and thank you for taking the time to talk to me today.